In this episode of the Meridian Expedition, we will meet a cool clever lady who helped stop illegal mining in Senegal using machine learning. For that, we visited the Sheikh Anta Diop University located in Dakar, the capital of Senegal, which is situated in West Africa as you can see on the map. When we came to the university, we received a warm welcome at the geological facility and were invited to one of the labs to introduce us to a PhD student Maram Ngom and her PhD supervisor Modumbai. Maram Ngom used the principles of machine learning to help the Senegalese authorities locate the illegal gold mining sites and put a stop to such activities. Government of Senegal have many problems for doing the monitoring of artisanal mining sites and I developed a method using Google Earth Cloud Engine cloud computing for monitoring artisanal mining sites here, for the detection and the monitoring of artisanal mining sites in the southeastern Senegal. She has dedicated loads of time investigating these small scale mining sites and their impact on the environment. As you can see here, Maram has automated the map engine to track and spot the changes around legal mining sites and spot the illegal activities. For example, the brown color of the water indicates that there is something wrong here and needs to be investigated. Such unauthorized activity is harmful to the environment. As you may know, the color of the water should be blue. And it's good to be able to keep track of it. Thanks to Madame's innovation, the Senegalese authorities can track such activities across the whole country, thus contributing to the environmental safety of Senegal. I think scaling women, scaling people is the most fundamental thing we need in Africa. Women in science is the most fundamental thing we have to achieve if we want to have sustainable development goal. Scaling women in Senegal for doing good science and solving local problems. That is the way I think we can achieve development in Africa. It was a great honor to meet a talented lady like Maram, and we're looking forward to finding more people like her around the world and share our findings with you. So do subscribe to the Meridian Expedition to be a part of the global change and development.